Hey, it's Russ from right here on the Infectious Groove Music Channel. And we have done quite a few videos on Elvis Presley over the years, including a lot of a reaction. So I'm hoping that some of the Elvis fans that uh, came onto the channel for the reaction videos will go back and check out some of our Elvis topic videos. And I figured he would be a great artist for me to discuss in our newest series, What's So Great About. Um, now, in this series... We don't plan to cover every single thing about an artist. And with somebody like Elvis, it would be nearly impossible to do so. Uh, what we like to do is share with you the reasons why we love this artist. And so if you are maybe not a fan of uh, any particular artist we're talking about, maybe you'll hear something uh, that makes you go, oh, maybe I'll look into that. Um, and if you certainly have different views on it uh, or, or reasons why you think the artist is great that we don't cover, please drop the comment and let us know. Uh, regarding... Elvis Presley, what's so great about Elvis? Um, here's the things that come to mind when I think about it. Um, first of all, you know, John Lennon famously said, uh, before Elvis, there was nothing. Um, you know, I'm well aware of the issues that come along with uh, saying Elvis did things first because of, uh, you know, Chuck Berry and Little Richard and, uh, you know, uh, Big Mama Thornton and so many other artists. Um, but as far as mainstream appeal goes, um, here's a guy who took everything that he learned from watching those artists, uh, and, and certainly from his, uh, relationship, um, with his parents and, uh, in worship and whatnot, and took all those things and brought it to the mainstream. So, um, before anybody else was having mainstream success with, with this brand new at the time thing called rock and roll, uh, Elvis was having that success and he was doing things that nobody, nobody else had thought of. Uh, and so it was, it just broke so many different barriers uh, and, and did allow for other artists of color and, and the originators of those sounds to come up uh, through the ranks. And uh, but, you know, if you look at uh, today's uh, culture in, in pop stars and whatnot, you can draw a direct line back to every single thing that's happening today, back to Elvis having done it first. Um, as far as his artistry goes, for me, <clears throat> there's you'd be hard pressed to find someone who sings with more uh, feeling and emotion. And Elvis Presley, um, you know, famously, the guy didn't write a word that he sang, but what he could do is take things that he understood that others wrote and put such a spin on them. Uh, now, I, this is going to be a little bit controversial, but uh, I think the best version of Unchained Melody out there is his. The best version of uh, of A Bridge Over Troubled Water is his. Uh, songs like uh, Runaway by Del Shannon. I like his version better. Um uh, uh, Sweet Caroline. I could go on and on and on. You lost that love and feeling. Uh, he just had a way of putting such emotion uh, and feeling into things that I don't think gets anywhere near uh, the respect that he deserves, especially all the way up uh, into his, uh, he left us early at the age of 42. Uh, besides that, one thing that I think doesn't get talked about enough is the diversity in music that he did. You know, there's a lot more to this guy than just um, Hound Dog and, and All Shook Up. And and if those are your favorites, I don't mean to down, downplay those. But, um, you know, you have a guy who did everything across, uh, who was massively successful for his gospel music uh, in a time where the country was uh, really experiencing a bunch of upheaval in in who believed what and, and whose side you were on. And he still did a lot of gospel music and uh, had great success with it. Uh, country and Western, he did a lot of deep, deep country cuts in the, in the late 70s and early, uh, or uh, sorry, late 60s and early 70s that uh, no one else was doing. He, he uh, continued to dabble in newer rock sounds up, the, up through like the mid 70s and whatnot. So uh, the guy just did a lot more uh, for um, diversity in his own a personal catalog of songs that he chose then I think a lot of people realize to me that that makes him great. Uh, another thing, and I've touched on this on the channel a lot, and I'm never going to let this point go. Uh, Elvis's body failed him at the age of 42. And uh, we, we had him for such a very short time. Um, so many things about Elvis's physical state um, for so many different reasons were the, were what they were and were led to him uh, leaving us at 42, but he never lost anything to do with his voice. Some would argue that his voice even got uh, fuller and uh, more full of emotion. I understand that there's a, a school of thought that talks about the um, late fifties and the mid sixties being the peak of Elvis's vocal powers. Um, I, to me, that's a beauty is in the eye of the beholder situation. Uh, for me, I appreciate all versions of it. And I don't think he lost a step all the way to the end. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is the legacy and the, um, 
what has gone on since Elvis left us, you know, we're now removed uh, so far from when he was here uh, that we've, we've, ha- <clears throat> we've been without him for longer than we had him. Uh, and, you know, Graceland people have been uh, visiting for 40 years now. Um, still huge crowds going to see, you know, who was this man? How did he live? Um, uh, you know, to visit his gravesite and so on. Um, the, uh, the biopic of course was out, uh, you know, I know there's differing opinions on that, uh, but he finally got the biopic treatment and a lot of young artists were, uh, picking up uh, on his sounds and doing reinventions of his sounds. Um, and Elvis's, uh, image has been reinvented so many times over the course of the past, a uh, few decades and whatnot. Me personally, I wish they would focus a little bit more on the seventies and get people to know that era more, but you know, that's, I don't run, uh, EP enterprises, but, uh, the legacy that he left behind and the, um, uh, the way that so many different people continue to look into, uh, who he was, what he did and the music that he left behind, I think is, is something that is unmatched by many, many, many artists that we've lost, uh, since Elvis passed. So, uh, those are just some of the reasons that I think Elvis Presley was great and why I thought he would be good to focus on in this series. What's so great about Elvis. Um, like I say, please, by all means, uh, if you agree with any of my points, drop a comment, let me know how and why, uh, if you have a bunch of your own, like what's your favorite thing, what do you think makes Elvis great? Drop a comment. Let me know about that. Uh, if you would please share this out, maybe into, uh, Elvis social media groups or whatever, cause that helps the channel grow. And like we always say, thank you so much for watching.